This is a hip-driven movement and the aim of the game is to keep our shoulders and hips stacked throughout. We want to resist the rotation provided by the kettlebell and keep that core nice and engaged. So at the top, the shoulders and hips stay stacked, the hips are level and the shoulders are level and we're going to maintain this as we sit back. Initiating the movement from the hips, driving the knee out and then at the bottom, nothing should change. Hips and shoulders are level, they're still nicely stacked. The trailing leg is externally rotated and the front knee is pushed out over the toes. We drive up to the top using the hips and we power that kettlebell over again top position everything stacked hips and shoulders nice and level the aim of the game here is to resist rotation throughout the movement driving that kettlebell with the hip and finishing in exactly the same position as we start for the lateral lunge we want to think about this as a single leg squat with the trailing leg in full extension our goal is to keep our shoulders and our hips nicely stacked. The leg we're sitting across to, the knees traveling outside, the foot and the ankle. And we're letting our hips continue back as we push that knee forward over the toes. I'm going to use my hand in a second to make sure I'm keeping that space from rib to hip nice and open. As long as that's the case, we're doing a good job. For the lateral lunge, we want to think about this as a single leg squat with the trailing leg in full extension. Our goal is to keep our shoulders and our hips nice